Hello world, Noah here. Welcome to the next episode of Django by Example. In this episode, we're going to learn how to use the admin site to easily manage uh, instances of our models. So the first thing I'm going to do is run the website, and I can go visit it. And if I go to slash admin on the website, you'll notice that it pulls up this Django administration page right here. This is provided to us by Django, and for those of you who might have noticed before, all of the admin URLs are delegated to Django admin.site.urls. So that's handled by Django. But as we'll see, the admin site is super, super, super useful. Um, so what we'll do is I'm going to move the uh, console over to the right side for now. And we need to pull up run manage.py task. What we need to do is we need to create an account. Once we have one account, we can use the admin site to create a bunch of other accounts, but we need to create one account to begin with because Django doesn't give us one by default. So uh, we'll go ahead and we want to call the create super user function. This is the same thing as saying um, python manage.py create super user. So we'll go ahead and pick a username. Um, I'll say poster29dev for the name of the channel. We want to give an email address. Um, so I'll do that, for example. The email address doesn't really matter, but it is stored in the database. Um, so you know, if you have a bunch of users, you can store their email addresses and easily email them. Then we need to pick a password. I'm going to pick YouTube as my password. Don't tell anyone. It's super, super secret. Okay, that was too short. Let's go YouTube 29 and see if that'll work. Okay, super user created successfully. So now we have our super user account. And I should mention, uh, you need to do that make migrations and migrate before you do this, but we did, so it's no problem. Now we can go over here and log in. Uh, so I'll put in the username and password that I just picked. And now we're here at the Django administration page. Uh, it looks pretty nice, it's pretty simple, and you'll notice that there's already some things defined here, groups and users. That's provided to us by Django, and we're not going to deal with that right now, um, so you can just ignore it. But you'll notice that our item model is not here. There's no listing for item, and that's because we need to actually register it. So back over in PyCharm, we want to open up the admin.py page. And we need to actually register our um, item model. So we are just going to call admin.site.register and item, which is our model. And of course, we need to import it. So option enter, and we want to import pdb underscore app.models.item. So this one line will register our item model inside of the admin site. And I think uh, we just need to, so it'll restart the server as it just did. And when we refresh, you'll notice um, that pdb underscore app shows up, and then under that is items. So it's basically the app name right there, and then the name of our model. Okay, so now that we have uh, items show up, let's go ahead and click on it. This will present us with a table uh, that contains each item that we have in our database, and right now there's one. If we click on the specific item, it will allow us to modify the name and description. Um, and then you can just hit save to save it to the database or delete to get rid of it. If we go back to the items page, you'll also notice that it says add item. So let's actually do this right now. We're going to add a new item. Uh, the name of it will be Eclipse and we'll say um, a, uh, we'll say one of the most popular and well-known Java IDEs. Very simple description. We'd probably want to have something a little bit better there, um, but that will serve us fine for now. Uh, so we have, again, our name and our description, just like that. And we can go ahead and hit Save. And that will add that to the database. So Eclipse is now in our database. And if we click on Eclipse, um, we can, of course, edit it. So if I wanted to... Um, you know, uh, get rid of the period, for example, I could hit save and it would save it. Or if I wanted to add it back, I could. If I do save and continue editing, it will leave me on this page. So I don't have to, you know, go back to items 
um, and then click on Eclipse again. But again, it's super simple. Uh, this is a really nice interface that lets you add, um, edit, and delete items from your database. So once you have your model set up, you just write one line each to register them on the admin site, and once you do that, um, you can then manage everything here. And to do it, you just go to um, whatever your URL is, slash admin, and you can log in with your admin account. It really couldn't be too much easier, and it's really, really nice, so that you don't have to be writing tons and tons of database queries to check on stuff and add stuff to your database and remove stuff and, and all of that. It just manages everything for you. So that's basically all there is right now. There is more that you can do with the admin site. Um, you know, you can actually define how your models behave. You can make different things show up here, but that's a video for another day. Um, <clears throat> so now that we have the admin site set up and we can have um, multiple items, in the next video, we'll actually look at how to get these items out of the database and insert them into a template. So we're getting closer to an actual finished website. We're getting ready to bridge the gap between the models in our database and the templates um, that we actually have uh, with the HTML in them. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys soon with some more uh, Django. Bye for now.